New tonight at 10, human smuggling and social media. You might not think the two are related, but they are. And federal officials just unsealed more than a dozen indictments alleging just that. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 10, I'm Tram Mai. And I'm Mark Curtis. Federal prosecutors are detailing just how human smugglers are operating, including their methods of recruiting teens and young adults. Team Charles' Bianca Bono has read through those court records and has the details for us. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Arizona says it's on pace to charge more smuggling cases this year compared to last year. And these are just some examples. 13 indictments and 22 suspects, all accused of human smuggling and transporting undocumented immigrants into Arizona. Right now, Tucson sector is where we're experiencing the most of that. In a recent exclusive interview with 12 News, Deputy Chief Patrol Agent Justin De La Torre with Border Patrol's Tucson sector talked about troubling trends when it comes to how smugglers are operating. Folks using social media to recruit. All 13 of these newly unsealed indictments include a suspect accused of coordinating human smuggling. And in all of these cases, federal officials say the suspects used Snapchat to do it. Young, Naive, impressionable young adults are offered, you know, $1,500, $2,000, told that all they have to do is make a quick, quick trip. The U.S. Attorney's Office providing an example of one of these recruiting messages featuring a stack of money and jewelry saying all you have to do is drive or you can send someone and both get paid, offering three to $20,000. What happens is they're now getting charged with a felony they'll have a federal criminal record. For one of these defendants, Dominic Leos, an example of the dangers associated with this criminal enterprise. According to Casa Grande Police Records and Pinal Central reporting, Leos's girlfriend was allegedly murdered last year by a human smuggler working for him who he owed money to. If it was so easy, to go down, pick up people or whoever and bring them back to the city for 1500 bucks. Why aren't those folks doing it themselves? Border Patrol officials tell 12 News they've developed a campaign specifically targeting youth and young adults, warning them of the dangers of being involved in a smuggling operation. In the meantime, they're moving forward with prosecution against these 22 suspects. The number of people that we are prosecuting here in Tucson is greater than anywhere else along the southwest border. And none of the suspects involved in these cases are minors, but Border Patrol officials say it is a growing problem and minors specifically are being targeted. Bianca Bono, 12 News.